Aries, you're up. It's all about you. Aries, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. General energies for sun, moon, rising sign, or if you know how to use uh, where you know how to, how to use these readings well enough to know where Aries is placed in your chart and how it fits in, go right ahead. That would be excellent. So you can apply it to anywhere Aries lies in your chart, these energies, right? Um, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. For those of you who are just meeting me and finding my channel, please do click subscribe, help the channel grow, and ring that bell so you know when I go live and upload ev all the content I upload. I go live every day, usually between 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes, it has been a little bit uh, crazy and I have gone on late, but live every day for a daily tarot card reading and open questions that you can ask me, and I'll just pull some cards for you. So if you are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, please expect one now. There will not be any other commercial break throughout this message, so the message will not be interrupted. I will see you in a couple of seconds. Now, for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, aren't you lucky you didn't have to sit through a commercial? For those of you who actually sat through a commercial, thank you so much. That's actually a donation to the channel. Whether you realize it or not, it really supports the channel, so I want to say thank you for that. Now, let's get into your reading, Aries. We're going to start with your Oracle card reading, and then over on Vimeo, the link to the extended is in the description box. We, I do a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. So, let's get into this. Aries, for October, damn, October 29th through November 5th of 2019, Aries, October 29th through November 5th, of 2019 uh, general energies for Aries October 29th October 29th through a November 5th of 2019 Aries there's something about Scorpio season that's making you feel not quite yourself it's sort of making you question how amazing you are and how radiant you are it's something during this next week that's actually um, compromising your sense of confidence or making you feel awkward about something that you normally would not have felt awkward about or it's simply this you're finding that the best way for you to handle a situation this week is to not be loud and to not push or this is the message don't be loud don't push go very gentle with everything you approach this week because it's going to make all the difference. Your approach to things. In other words, this could be, it could be your, your, your confidence being compromised. Because this is the energy that's crowning this reading. is Badger energy, who is usually like a super diva. You know what I'm saying? Like I walk into the room and you fear me. You know, like that, he's, it's extreme confidence. But when it's in reverse, it kind of is making me feel like there's a lack of confidence or there's something draining your confidence. Or maybe it's just stress and anxiety that's making you feel like, you know, maybe you just got back from such a good time, right? You've had such a good time and things have been going so well for you because I know that the, the new moon energy was really good for you. So maybe things were going so well for you and now it's kind of like in comparison this week, it brings you back to the week of the normal, right? Though we still have Halloween to celebrate, so don't underestimate that. Um, but there, there seems like, mm, this could also be, I just heard like a visit from the netherworld, like visit, you might get some dreams or ghostly encounters come Halloween because that veil is really thin. And I feel like there's this essence of something that isn't, something that isn't expected, something that isn't normal for you, something that is turning you on your head. Maybe that's what this, this card is saying, Aries, is look at things from a different perspective. And that brings me back to my first point, which is, you know, um, yeah, which is, um, what was my first point? I'm sorry, Aries, I lost my, my stream, uh, stream of consciousness. Um, in other words, not going, going about things in the traditional way or not things that are untraditional for you or unexpected happening. So let's look at the rest of the deck. This is spirit has your back. So I do feel like this is some sort of spiritual encounter or spiritual awakening happening for you this week. I also think that however uncomfortable, I also know that when this card comes out, 23 is my lucky number by the way, woo -woo, when this card comes out Aries, it's saying that whatever challenges you confront this week, 
you're going to be okay. Like we have your, we, we, we've got you taken care of We're you're going to get the support or you not you're not walking alone. You know, think like foot, foot, footprints in the stand, uh, sand type of thing. You're not walking alone, but this does indicate that there will be some hardships that you'll need uh, help through this week. Um, like I said, be loyal to what you love. Mm. Be loyal to what you love. Hmm. Spirit has your back. You may be questioning your spirituality. Be at home. You're getting two home cards too. The dog and the wombat are both, are, it's almost like you may have to visit home. You may have to go back home this week for some reason because somebody may need your, your support. See the big picture. Um, in other words, something is happening that's very close to your heart. It could be happening within your family, Aries, that makes you feel, that could make you feel like you're being personally attacked. Spirit is asking you to not take it personally, to see the bigger picture and remove yourself and sort of hopefully emotionally remove yourself and see things objectively. Because in that objective perspective, you may actually be the one to see the problem, the root of the issue. There is something happening strongly. I can feel it in your family. It has to do with family. I don't know what the uproar is though. Let's see. Freedom is yours. Yeah, you're tethered and you're tied this week. Your obligations, you're being called probably by your family members to help them out this week, um, to help them through a rough time or a rough patch. There's something going on in your family that's going to that's gonna call you back um, you have a big family too that's going to call you back. You're definitely not, and maybe that's what's causing you stress or draining you is that there are issues that normally, you know, you have such a forward momentum, but some, that something is tethering you and pulling you back and holding you down this week. This could be also a relationship suddenly making you feel stifled and smothered and, and I wouldn't say bored, but you're, hey, you're starting to worry about you're starting to worry about being trapped with somebody that I, I'm not even going to say that you don't love them. I'm just going to say that it's, it's a sense of having to do things that your brain is rushing. Your brain is rushing so fast. You have, in other words, you have all of your priorities set up and everything is interfering with those priorities. And it's driving you out of your mind because you are a progress person. You are a forward person. You are a, let's schedule this and let's get this done. And you like to have your situations and circumstances controlled. So it's, in other words, you're getting thrown curveballs left and right. And because it happened this week, and because it has to do with family, there's really nothing you can do about avoiding them. You have to catch them, you have to hit them. You have to address them. You can't just let them slide by. It, 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 it is to do with people that you care about or circumstances that you care about. So it's simultaneously going to make you feel trapped and burdened, overburdened this week. So I hope you had a great weekend because you're going to need it. Use your mind wisely, but pig is turned upside down. And when pig is turned upside down, I think there's a lot of rashness. There's a lot of impracticality. There's a lot of impetuousness. Um, there's a, for pig and horse to be turned upside down. It's almost like imagine yourself having ADHD, but being trapped in a cage. It's like tormenting your brain. There is an issue here. Hold on. I can feel the buildup inside of you. And this is why be fearless. And it's almost like you can't be yourself this week because if you were yourself this week, you couldn't, you, you would offend a lot of people <laughs> just to say that, um, bring your ideas to life. And that's what it's impeding. All of these conflicts are impeding your plans are impeding what you want to be doing. Make your dreams real. Here's a spider web. You're caught. You feel trapped this week, Aries. That's what you do. You feel trapped and you it may be by a mother, by a grandmother. You'd be like, oh my God, what are you talking about? I have this, 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 and this to do. And now you're throwing this at me. There's this overwhelming sense of responsibility where you didn't expect it. There's this overwhelming sense of obligation where you don't want there to be obligation. There's this overwhelming sense of you, 
being conflicted because honestly you don't want to settle down and you don't you don't want to help that's just the truth you don't want to help but you don't want to not want to help and it's sort of a conflict of making you feel guilty about yourself and about your stance in life when you're just trying to like do your thing and wonder it's almost like why can't everybody just take care of themselves why are they even bugging me with this shit this week well it's sort of a double-edged sword right when you are the person that is responsible, people then look to you to take the lead and you like taking the lead. But the caveat to taking the lead is that people always expect you now to take the lead and be in the lead and to make decisions. And that might be something that's coming up like out of the dark, out of the shadows, how very frustrating it is to always have to be the one who is making the decisions. Even though you like it, it doesn't mean you always want to have to do it. And this week you feel trapped by how good you are at figuring things out, how good you are at making plans or making decisions and how good you are at being confident about the decisions that you make. You're trapped by it. It's, some, it's like somebody has trapped you by using you and who you are and how you like to handle things and deal with things. Um, is this a romantic relationship? That I do not know. We'll, we'll get that insight when I go over to Vimeo. But I do want to flip the camera around. So give me a second just so I can review the cards with you. Hey, Aries. Thank you so much for uh, hanging on there. This is, your, this is the view of your Oracle card reading. So do you see? This is you. And this is you. You have a very keen mind. And you have a very um, confident way of using it. And you like progress. You like to be moving forward. You like that open air, free air. Right? It feeds your fire but it's flipped upside down. So it's almost like this circumstance this week is using you against you. You know, it's, it's, it's coming back and nipping you in the butt, who, everything that you are. Um, this, could, this could be a relationship backfiring, but I think it's more to do with people who you love, who you care about, because dog and wombat are upright, right? This has to do with something that affects your home. And you do care, but you don't want to slow down all the shit you've got in your life. So I do feel like this is a family issue. This is a family issue. Something about the leadership in your family, maybe you are becoming the leader in your family. And that's not something that you ever asked for or wanted, but you're realizing this week, people either always come to you for money, or they always come to you for guidance, or they always come to you for advice. They always come to you to make decisions. And it's, it's you, you love to make decisions and you love to be in control of shit, but you don't wanna always have to be. And this was a week, it just sort of like came at you as a curveball. You didn't even expect that. You are who people look to, to guide them. That's what you are. You are, and it could even be at work where you're just like, why can't you people think for yourselves? Why can't you figure this, this out yourselves? I've created the plan. Now you're supposed to execute it, but I feel like I have to walk you through it like we're in fifth grade, like we're in kindergarten. What, what am I dealing with here? Why? So that's the frustration. That's what's draining you. That's what's almost making you feel like you want to disappear instead of stand out. This is something that you just want to run away from. And I tell you, Aries, this is how I know you really care about the people who are involved. Because normally, it would be totally in your wheelhouse to be like, no, I'm not helping you figure it out yourself. Like you would have no problem saying this to people, but these are people that hit home. You see what I'm saying? Like you care about these people or this situation too much to say it. And that's why you're so frustrated. And that's, and that's why it's sort of affecting your confidence level because you can't just turn around and say to these people, this could be your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your nieces and nephews, people that you care about. That you can't just, turn, you feel stuck because you can't just turn around and say, figure it out yourself. I'm not dealing with these issues. I'm not dealing with this BS. You know that there's a need. You know that people need help. And these are people that you actually really care about. So you're stuck this week with unexpected curveballs and having to fucking hit them when you didn't even want to play baseball. You know what I'm like? That's, you're like, who even brought me to this game? I, I didn't even want to come. Take like that's what it is, but the guidance here is see the bigger perspective. You know, um, if you can see the bigger perspective, you might not get all caught up. You might actually be able to navigate this web very well. And you might not feel so trapped. If you see it from a, a, a higher perspective, you might realize 
you're, you're not really trapped. You're just needed unexpectedly this week. And it's actually a good thing. It's a good thing because it's sort of flattering. And maybe that's why I'm catching that you maybe this is like your coming of age. Like almost like you didn't realize this is what you were to people. And now you realize that that's what you are to people. And if this is a romantic relationship, which we will get into over on Vimeo. If this is a romantic relationship, it's almost like you realizing... Because you do like the person and you do care about the person. But it's like you realizing, oh, they're never going to make a choice. Like where we go to dinner. They're, they're never going to make a decision. Or in the worst case scenario, and we'll get into this late, you know, in depth. They're never going to make a decision as to commit to me. And that's what's really bugging you. That's what's really pissing you off. And in that case, Badger, Badger gets really aggressive. And like Badger upside down. Well, Badger... Right side up can be, is very aggressive because he knows what he wants. But Badger in reverse is just plain old spiteful. So this could be coming out with you this week too. Or somebody's being spiteful toward you and you're being told, Hey, look out, Aries. Look out. Spirit has your back and so do a bunch of loyal people. But there is an issue that's really trying to like trap you up and wrap you up. And like use what you are against you or in other words use what you are but then not give you anything for it you know it's like being asked to take on a huge project but then having the promotion swiped out from under you by a person who barely did any work that's kind of like the mentality of what this could be if somebody is sort of being spiteful or uh, manipulative towards you if you're the one being manipulative it is very much because you're in a situation where you're very bitter where somebody has not come through for you the way that you've come through for them. And at this point, you just want to like toast their asses. And you're being told, hey, you need to see this finally, Aries. Maybe you haven't dealt with it. Maybe you haven't accepted it. But this week is like, you, the, in other words, these curveballs are going to hit you and cause welts on you if you don't make sure you look out and have keen eyes. And, under, and, and understand that they're coming at you. you. You can't wash this away or turn the other cheek or try to convolute it and pretend it's not happening anymore. This is a decision, and once again, an uncomfortable decision you didn't want to make. I think you were in part trying to put it off, um, but it's, it's something that has to be addressed. So what, what kind of decision do you have to make? What is this decision? Um, what is the conflict? What is the exact challenges? It could be more than one because this is a general reading. I'm going to find out through tarot. We're going to do a full tarot card spread and we're also going to do a romance reading over on Vimeo. Aries, ooh, I'll see you there.